This week on Canada in the Rough, Paul Beasley is hunting black bears in the renowned Duck Mountains of Manitoba with Rob Dykeman of Excalibur Crossbow. They're at Baldy Mountain Outfitters for an exciting week of non-stop bear action. Big boars, color faces and more this week on Canada in the Rough. We've just arrived here in the Duck Mountains of Manitoba. This is a beautiful part of the province. It's big, vast bush, and it also holds big bears. And we're here with Baldy Mountain Outfitters with Todd Wogemouth, and I am very excited because it's early spring. The big bears are moving. His clients in camp have already killed a couple giants, including two booners. And let's face it, we got a week of bear hunting ahead of us. What more could you ask for? So we're just gonna shoot the bows here, just get them all assembled and put together, and we will be hunting shortly. You ready, Rob? Just getting it cocked, and we're ready to go. Let's do it. Beauty, we're ready. I think they're two dead bears. <laughs> Let's get hunting. It turns out the action was just getting started for Rob. A little while later, another decent bear came in from the swamp, and again, Rob had to make the tough call to pass on him. After that, the floodgates really opened up, and three more bears made their way across the swamp and into the bait area. Though none were the big, mature boar Rob was hoping for, the sheer number of bears was amazing to see. Meanwhile, a few kilometers away, Paul was having quite a night himself. Just an hour after settling in, a young bear arrived and spent the next half hour exploring the bait area. Paul had some great close-up action with this sow, but things got really exciting when the courageous bear got bored of the food on the ground and headed up into the trees. She's right there at the very top of those trees. She's up there eating the fresh new buds that are about to break out. Back at Rob's stand, the sun was getting lower and Rob was hoping the magic hour would yield some more action.
just went in behind us. He should be coming up this trail. We're running at light. Hopefully this bear is going to show himself. It's disappointing to say the least. We just saw a bear of a lifetime. We ran out of light. We heard some banging going on in behind us. You may have got our scent. The wind's swirling a little bit right now, but that's very disappointing. But it's the first night. We got four more nights, and we'll have to get back at it tomorrow, and hopefully uh, he shows up again. What a bear. So the Duck Mountains of Manitoba, uh, definitely renowned for the color phase. If you look at uh, our ratios on color phase, it's uh, one of the highest, if not the highest in Canada. The quality of bears that we got here are just uh, phenomenal. Hunters can expect to see multiple bears in a night. Uh, average size bear, I think we're right around the 265 pounds. And this is spring weights, not fall weights. I take a lot of pride in, in my outfitting business here and just providing top quality hunts and experiences from enjoying the outdoors, enjoying a predator literally 10 to 15 yards from you. You know, it's something that most people do not get to experience. All right, we're ready to go. Heading to the stand for the afternoon. These are long days. It doesn't get dark here until like pretty much 10 o'clock. So it's a long old sit, but these bears are active, so we're gonna get in early, get settled in, and see if we can stay awake, and hopefully the bears will keep us going. While Paul watched the two young bears eating at the bait, several kilometers away, Rob was just getting into his stand. He was hoping the massive bear he dubbed Count Chocula would show up again, but was excited just to see some more action. As if on cue, the bears started flowing into the bait right after Rob had settled in. The steady stream of bears kept Rob on his toes and entertained for hours, but the excitement really picked up when two bears met up for a friendly romp just yards from his stand. The fighting seemed pretty playful, but later on things got a little more serious as the bait got more and more crowded. One courageous sow was fed up and hungry and began to challenge the larger bears eating at the bait. She may have bitten off more than she could chew though, and when two bears decided they'd had enough of her, she had to make a quick escape. As things slowed down at Rob's bait, Paul was still right in the thick of it. He'd had a busy night as well, and as he approached the end of his sit, he had three bears roaming around his bait. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a big. I don't even know how many bears we 
seen tonight, probably 10 or 12. We just haven't seen any of the real giants that I know that I know that Baldy Mountain Outfitters is known for. And it's still early enough in the hunt that I want to wait out, but some really nice bears there. Finally, we got our bear, he's down. It's been uh, pretty long hours hunting, seeing a ton of bears. We finally figured out we got our right bear. Nice boar, we're gonna go put our hands on him. All right, I'm gonna put this one. All right, we got blood here. Oh. The ground's all tore up. We got ourselves a black bear right there. Sweet. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at this big head. That's where you come to Manitoba, guys, these big heads on these bears. That's a nice big black bear. Got a beautiful coat on them, filled with scars. That's a great spring bear, beautiful rug. The meat will be tender, delicious. Just came out of hibernation a month ago. This is an awesome bear, guys. Awesome hunt. Okay, time to get to work. Wow. 
That was an entertaining start to the day. Now I just gotta hope we get a little bigger. Oh, there's a bear. He's coming this way, but it actually looks like he's gonna circle us here. He's down. He just crashed right there. He is down. Oh my goodness. That was, I'm telling you, my heart was in my throat for the last 10 minutes. We had this bear. I saw him coming through the woods over here. Well, he gets back into here and he stands still for like 10 minutes. Just freezes. It's so calm. We couldn't move. I didn't know what he was doing. Well, little did I know, he's watching this great big boar walk the ATV trail as well. So that's why he was, uh, he was hung up. I didn't realize this bear was here until he literally cracked a stick directly below me. Oh my gosh, I see these great big wide shoulders, the great big wide head. He steps out there broadside and I bet he didn't run 50 yards. Down to the wire, we are almost out of camera light. What an exciting hunt we have had here at Baldy Mountain Outfitters. Just incredible. These guys have bears. Let's get down and have a look. Look at that. Check out this blood. This looks good. Oh yeah, it's dumping right out here. Look at this blood. Oh, there he is right there. Right there. Oh. oh, and he is down. Oh my goodness. What a bear. This is an absolutely stunning Manitoba spring black bear. Check this out. I didn't even realize he has a white chevron on his chest. The first angle I saw of him was directly below me in the tree. I could have jumped on him and ridden him like a saddle bronc. He steps out at 20 yards, boom, and what are we, 40 yards from the bait. Absolutely incredible bear. You know what, we have had such an incredible week here. Rob and I have been treated to some incredible bear action. Bear action, stuff that I've never even seen before sometimes. And it has just been night after night of just pure enjoyment, sitting in the tree stand, watching these bears do their thing. Todd puts on an incredible show here. What an adventure, folks. If you ever have a chance to come to this part of Manitoba and enjoy one of these great trips, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. What a beauty, oh my goodness. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, please join us on Facebook and Instagram.